have developed this programme in partnership with um, Chris from The Zone and the Mini Play Ranger programme is a four week training programme that we work with primary sevens to learn them to be mini play rangers in their playground at lunchtime and at breaks. The four week programme is quite intense, learning the children to come up with fun ideas, fun games that they can play with younger kids, looking at risk assessing what they're doing with the younger children, being more aware of what they're doing in the playground, um, but also looking at social skills, interaction with other children, uh, building their own confidence up to communicate with other children, um, lots of different outcomes within the programme. I actually developed here in the school. Um, the head teacher, when we first came along, had said that um, they had other organisations in before, training kids how to play, or tra not training, but showing kids how to play different activities and stuff like that. And the head teacher, uh, Mrs. Uh, James, had um, suggested that we might be able to put a training programme together so that when the team wasn't here during the week because we can only come here one day a week that the, the children could take over the play themselves uh, and be led by some of the senior senior children in the school uh, and that's basically how it developed we went away we thought about how we work and how we would put together a training program um, Stranra came on board and they, they were doing a similar um, thing at down in Stranra um, we worked closely together and we pulled together aspects from both both their side of the training and our side of the training and we put it together in a booklet. Everybody in the playground works together more and there's not as many people left out. We work more with the, we're like cl even closer to the younger ones because we, when before we just kind of did our own thing but now that um, we're play rangers, we just kind of walk about and play games with them and everything. And we're like more connected to them. Yeah, so it's better for socialising the whole of the school then. Yeah. Well, we've become more confident in speaking out in the group and um, any of us could become a leader and take the role of coming and explaining out the group or taking out the equipment or getting it set up ready for it. Okay. Well, people are more active and mm. everybody's like willing to join in and there's not that many people left out and they just enjoy working together as a group. There's been less fights and everybody's getting like not left out but they're all like joining in. The, the zone uh, got in touch with quite a number of uh, local schools to my knowledge and uh, we for one wanted to take it up because it's it's a big part of uh, the push in our curriculum now is to get the children outside uh, as much as possible. You know it's not rocket science, the, 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 uh, most of the games and activities they do are activities and games that, that we all played and they all do. Since Lane and our team have been to Sandhead, there's been a vast improvement in the playground. There's been less fighting, less arguments. The primary servants have become much more confident, more confident um, in their abilities. Um, and they've managed to encourage the younger pupils to play together, play with them and to work together well as a team. They enjoy the fact that they're given some autonomy, they're given responsibility, uh, and these are good skills. And these are good skills for them to develop, and not just in uh, outdoor play, but in all areas of the curriculum. I, I can think of a couple of the older children who have embraced it, and they're shy, they're quiet, they don't readily want the limelight or get involved in anything, but quietly they've just got on and they are really benefiting from working with the wee ones and they've found something they're really good at. <laughs>